Let's take a look at the SEMrush dashboard, how you set it up and how you can use it to monitor what's going on with your website. So when you're in SEMrush, um, if you don't already have an account, I'll leave a link below where you can get signed up and test all these features out. But essentially, once you're in here, you'll need to add a project from the projects tab, which is pretty easy. You just put your domain name in. Um, you can even do it from right here. But then under SEO, if you go to the SEO dashboard and you have a project selected, so let's just do Tesla, for example, then we can see a whole bunch of different information here. We've got our domain analytics, like your general authority score, and it's going to give you some um, changes too. So this Tesla is the 200, it was the 270th ranked website online. Now it's 297. So it's dropped a little bit, which is, you know, it's one of the top 300 websites online. <laughs> so as far as SEO goes, at least um, we can see the traffic, organic keywords, paid, referring referring domains so essentially how many domains are backlinking as well as the total number of backlinks so 30 million um, an overview of the backlinks themselves so how much of the backlink uh, volume is toxic versus non-toxic 76 percent non-toxic which is good i'm not sure why there's so many toxic domains linking to tesla.com but that's neither here nor there so <laughs> Essentially, this is going to give us a breakdown of everything that's going on for our project or even a competitor. So you can add a competitor. Like, obviously, I don't own Tesla. So <laughs> you can put any website in here and run this scan and see what's going on. Then you can go and set up different tools here if you want to do like the on page checker. And um, so there's some different stuff. Some of these tools you'll actually need to be able to have access to the website in order to integrate or even like Google um, Search Console. Uh, you can connect Google Search Console and Google Analytics so that you can get real time data. So some of these things you will need to actually like, obviously, I don't have access to Tesla's Search Console, so I can't connect that here. but. Um, if it's your own website, you'll be able to connect some of these tools and actually get more in-depth information beyond what SEMrush is able to see just by indexing and, and crawling the internet, which is how it's getting all of this information anyways, right? Um, so like, obviously, if we go over to the Google Analytics data, there's just going to ask us to sign in basically. So um, <laughs> we can't really look at that. But we can look at the SEMrush data and see roughly where they're getting their traffic from, which is super helpful. We can see a lot of people are just going directly to Tesla.com. About 50% are searching on Google and other search engines to find them. They're also doing quite a lot of social media and paid traffic. And we can see how that distribution has changed over time. So this is a super helpful breakdown. Like if you're looking at one of your competitors and you're, and you're thinking, man, are they getting their traffic from search or SEO, like SEO slash search or from paid ads or from social media? Does it even make sense to be doing SEO in this niche? This information will tell you a lot. Like if, if a competitor in your niche is getting a ton of traffic from SEO, which would be search right here, then you know that it's you know good. <laughs> There's some money to be made there, more or less. Um, we can also see their change in uh, organic keywords over time. So they've been losing a lot of keywords lately, it seems, as well as some of their main keywords and backlink analytics. This is just kind of going further into things. So that's sort of the analytics, or the, excuse me, the SEM rush. <laughs> I'm in the habit of calling it SEM rush, SEM rush dashboard. And if there's anything you have questions about that I didn't cover or that wasn't clear or anything of that nature, don't hesitate to reach out. You can just drop your questions in the comment section below and I'll be sure to get back to them there. Look, if you're the type of person that just doesn't even want to deal with your online marketing anymore <laughs> and you'd rather just hand it over and have somebody take care of it for you, 
Or if you really just want to talk to somebody and get some pointers, um, let's connect. I do offer consulting. I have different uh, services I can offer to help you grow your business through digital marketing. But yeah, feel free to check out my website. You can come on over to TravisWilkie.com. Here's how to spell it because it's kind of funky. Uh, but you can come check out some case studies, see the results I've been able to get for my clients over the years. And uh, if you're interested, we can connect. I'd love to help you out. If you can't tell, I love helping business owners grow, especially when it comes to digital marketing. So, all right, I'll talk to you soon. Take care.